Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On the resolution, I, I too was not expecting to share some thoughts, but something that I, I must share. And for one, I appreciate the history lesson that was presented to us. Um, those are not stories, those are facts about who we are as a nation and what we've been through and uh, a history that many may want to brush off or wash off but cannot be forgotten, especially when we're reminded of it every single day in policies that we're attempting to change here in this chamber. Um, but I, I must say this, and there's a lot of things that I could you know, talk about, but some have already been well presented. The treatment of immigrants being one of them, the treatment of people of color in our policing and, and over-policing in some communities is another. But I want to touch on a number, 4,645. For those of you not familiar with that number, that is the number in a recent Harvard study of, the, uh, of, of death in Puerto Rico because of Hurricane Maria. And I mentioned that number in reference to this flag because I was born in Puerto Rico, I'm an American citizen, and proudly will support this resolution and proudly have this flag on my desk because I'm an American citizen. American citizen because I was born in Puerto Rico. American citizen because for the last 100 plus years, Puerto Rico has been a part of this nation. But as a colony, call it a commonwealth if you want to be poetic about it. Make no mistake about it, it's a colony. A colony that saw the most devastating natural disaster in its history. Thousands of American citizens died and is still begging in Congress for some assistance. And, and yes, some things have been done, but make no mistake about it, the treatment of the people of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands has been a stain and an insult to the very democracy we all want to celebrate. And, and I'll remind folks that, you know, when they talk about the military and our veterans, and yes, I celebrate each and every one of them as well, including the thousands upon thousands, the hundreds of thousands over the years of Puerto Rican veterans who have also died, who have also served, and who wherever they are in heaven now are looking down at the embarrassment of the treatment of their lineage <coughs> by the very country and flag that they sacrificed to the Fed. So what I, what I suggest is that while I celebrate this flag, and we all should, and we all, as been eloquently stated by other speakers, you know, need to aspire to the very best of what we stand for and, and understand that, yes, there are very negative things and stains in our history that we won't be able to forget or deny. There is no symbol that is pure on earth. Everything carries with it the good and the bad. It's just the balance of life. I am a person of faith, and yet the very teachings and the very book that I based some of that is stained as well by, by its own history. Things that have been done in the name of he who hide credit with life are not necessarily a great history to, to acknowledge, but, but they're true. And so, much like that, this is another one. I celebrate this flag. I want my community in Puerto Rico to continue to be proud American citizens. And I believe that the issue of status for all the territories needs to be resolved in order for every American to feel like an American. I can't begin to tell you how many tears, how many, how many uh, families have been destroyed because of a tragedy. And the very flag that we've been, I don't want to say forced to, although you know, talking about facts and history, Puerto Rico didn't call on, people of Puerto Rico didn't call on the American government to invade back in 1898, but, but the Americans came in and liberated us from Spain, yet made us a part of the American experiment only to treat us differently over the years. So on behalf of every Puerto Rican who has fought in a war to defend this flag, on behalf of the 4,645 lives lost in Puerto Rico because of Hurricane Maria and their families still struggling, I ask all of you who are voting for this and who want the very best for our nation and who support this flag to remember them as well and to acknowledge that if we are to become all those great things that this flag represents, then we need to start being honest about the faults that we have. 
We need to start addressing these things in a very real way and putting aside partisan politics and just treating Americans for what they are. The very people promised life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'll be voting to support the resolution.